NASA have indicated that the Antarctic melt had started about a month earlier than usual. Scientists in Costa Rica are growing coral to revive ancient reefs. Electric cars in the UK are to have a green number plate. Welcome to this week's environmental news with me, Professor Patrick Prawn. A report from the Environmental News Agency, along with images from NASA, show that the Antarctic melt has started about a month earlier than usual. This can have the effect of causing glacial ice on land to flow unimpeded into the ocean as massive icebergs. New corals are being grown by scientists in Costa Rica to save reefs. The team is using testing techniques and experimental ideas to grow coral and revive ancient reefs in Golfo Dulce, southwestern Costa Rica. Their findings are helping to restore local ecosystems and could help researchers in their aim to revive reefs across the globe. All fully electric cars, registered in the UK from December the 8th, 2020, will have the option of a green flash down the left-hand side of their number plate. This will make it easier to recognise those cars that will benefit from cheap parking and access to zero emission areas. With Christmas Day just gone, let us remember that Christmas is a festive time in the Christian or Gregorian calendar. Oh, that reminds me. I must just put a call through to Pyros Island to wish Eddie Lizard a happy Christmas and to let him know when the gym here will be reopening. Gymtastic greetings from Stokey's Gym. This is Gracie Gecko in the reception suite. How may I direct your call? Uh, ah, um, uh, I'm trying to get hold of Ezzy Lizard. Do you know where I might locate him? I think he's on the premises. Let me put a call out. One moment, please. Who shall I say is calling? Oh, uh, uh, thank you, yes. It's Professor Patrick Prawn here, Primate Island. One moment. Call on line two for Ezzy Lizard. Call on line two. Put the call through to the weight room prime pad, would you? Who is it calling? Professor Patrick Prawn, uh, calling from Primate Island, Eddie. Patrick, how the devil are you? Oh, very well indeed, Eddie. Uh, thank you for asking. Listen, Eddie, Primate and I just wanted to wish you a happy Christmas. A caterpillar has been giving the primate Jim a lick of thermo paint. Now it will be down to Anne and Andy to get it opened up once they can find the door key. It appears to have been mislaid. Well, happy Christmas to you too, Patrick. That all sounds promising. I look forward to checking out at some stage. We are all excitedly waiting for Peter Platypus to arrive and help install our satellite dish. My buddies over in the land of the humans are just about to show their world's strongest man competition. I'm hoping to get some tips. Ah, yes. Excellent, Eddie. Good to pay attention. Once we could get you over here, we will need you to help us teach our younger viewers how regular exercise can help them keep healthy, provided they do something that suits their age, of course. Yes, Patrick. Let's make that happen once I get there. Oh, uh, before I let you go, uh, Bob Bird has sent you over a link to download Primasia the Prologue. Uh, be a good lizard and check it out, would you? It is now available free of charge in the land of humans. Will do, Patrick, will do. Gotta go. Big love from the beast. Um, mm, uh, yes, a, a, a big um, to you too, Eddie. Throughout the year, there are many festivals that take place across the world. Examples of these are Chinese New Year, 
the Muslim festival of Ramadan, the Hindu festival of Diwali, the Jewish festival of the Passover, Hogmanay in Scotland, and New Year across the world, to name but a few. We heard last week about some of the effects that Christmas has on the environment, from the thousands of miles of paper used to the impact of producing artificial trees. Uh, the fact that some wrapping paper cannot be recycled, through to the wasted food and the increases in greenhouse gas emissions. Other festival traditions can have a significant impact on the environment. For this week's special report, we go over to our roving reporter, Big Tick, who has been looking into festivities in the land of humans. Hello, Tick here. Ah, Tick. I hope you've been busy since coming out of your quarantine time. And you have some useful information for us. Yes, of course, Professor. I think you'll be amazed at what I've found about the things they do over here. Leave that to me, Tick, as to whether I'll be amazed. Yes, Professor, of course. You mentioned festivals earlier, which are often steeped in tradition. One of these, that goes back centuries, is where the Chinese people set off lanterns in celebration at many of their festivals. These lanterns have a naked flame inside them that warms the air, making them soar into the sky. They look really spectacular, but when they come to the ground, some are still alight, thereby risking setting fire to woodland and property. Fire is not only a danger to wildlife and humans, it causes significant damage to property and habitats. Some airline authorities have reported that the lanterns may cause damage to engines if they get sucked into the air intake. Oh, here's something you'll find amusing, Professor. Really, Tick? I can't remember the last time I laughed at anything you said. No, really, Professor, listen. When lanterns are launched into the air, the number of sightings of UFOs goes up. You know, unidentified flying objects. Oh, really, Tick, if you say so. Now... Do you have anything else that may be pertinent to the subject of the environment and not about UFOs and aliens? Yes, Professor, of course. Sorry. New Year in the Gregorian calendar is nearly upon us. Other cultures celebrate their New Year at different times, but they are all considered opportunities for celebration. Ah, yes, of course. We must remember to wish everyone a prosperous new year when it comes. Across the world, fireworks are often launched into magnificent aerial displays to celebrate this event. While the displays are magnificent and fill people with awe and wonder, do they think about the impact that these displays have on, in particular, our wildlife? Deer quietly grazing in a field, the little dormouse hunting for food in the evening. The birds roosting in the trees, heads under their wings, preparing for sleep. Then... Bang! Whiz! Whoop! Whirl! <laughs> Tick! Calm down. You're meant to be a professional. <clears throat> oh, yes. <clears throat> right. Sparks fly. The sky is suddenly lit up from being black. The silence is rudely interrupted. And... The wildlife is frightened. They have no idea what is happening. People's enjoyment must surely be tarnished by the fear these creatures face. Yes, Tick. Thank you for that very impassioned report. It's important that we celebrate our festivals, be happy with our families at these special times, and make the most of everything we have. Please always have at least one eye and your thoughts on the environment. Think about the effect that our actions have on ourselves, the animals, and our resources. Time now for our word of the week, which this week is consideration, the act of thinking about something carefully. So, be considerate, 
Stay safe, and a very happy new year from all of us here in Primasia. And all of us here in the land of humans. <laughs> now, don't forget to keep up to date with our news. Make sure you like our page and subscribe to our channel. Also, why not find out how we came to team up with the land of humans by playing Primasia the Prologue, available on Google Play and the App Store. See if you can complete it before Eddie Lizard does. You have been watching me, Professor Patrick Prawn, with this week's environmental news. Now then, uh, let's go back to the prologue. Let's see if I can get the exhaust fumes blocked. I don't know how Sam Snake manages it. <laughs> <laughs>